today we're working on scrying. Hey there witches, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I am a witch and on this channel we talk about witchcraft, spirituality, and whatever floats in my boat at the time. Today, we're working on scrying. So I actually just filmed another video about air magic using your air element and how to manipulate the air <laughs> um, using the visual of incense to help you see the air that you are trying to move around you. Since you guys have been asking me to demonstrate the magic that I'm teaching and not just tell you about it, so silly. So silly, you guys. I wanted to do some scrying while I had this beautiful instant incense stick burning. This was actually kind of an intuitive move. I was not planning on doing this video today. However, scrying is, yeah, it's so good and it's hard to demonstrate. In my experience, magic doesn't necessarily film well. Um, it is difficult to focus while filming a video, if I'm being honest. It's also, there are a lot of theories about whether or not technology and um, magical power actually get along. So bear with me, take this as a instructional <laughs> type video and if it flops, I guess you could call it comedy. If you haven't seen my air element magic video, if it's up, I'll put it somewhere, and if it's not up, then I won't. Um, this is not my first video about scrying, but this is the first one in which I'm going to demonstrate for you with my mind. This incense stick was burning like crazy, and um, it occurred to me that I should be using it to scry. So the screen is probably gonna fill up with smoke. I really hope that you guys can see this. I'm gonna try and I really hope that you guys can see this. Okay, so when you're scrying with smoke, when you're scrying with smoke, you are going to be communicating with the smoke a little bit differently than if you are trying to manipulate it to go one way or the other. Instead of thinking, um, go this way or that, what you're really gonna be focusing on is opening your mind and being receptive and asking the, um, either the element of air or the smoke itself to show you Or, yeah, if you work with deities or um, ancestors, whatever it is that you're trying to connect to, um, ask that entity, your higher self, whatever, to show you what you would not otherwise be able to see in the smoke. And then just gaze into it and look for pictures. Find the pictures in the smoke. Let them come to you. Before you start a practice like this, I probably should have mentioned before, um, it's really important to get yourself into a grounded and meditative mindset. Um, divination should never be taken lightly. Um, crazy because I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see everything that's happening, but it's really, it's intense. Um, so be open to what um, the universe is trying to show you. 
It's not about making pictures form. It's not about manipulating. It's about being willing to see what is being shown. And you can go until you feel like you've got your answers or you can go until the incense burns down. You can use whatever type of incense you want. I might go ahead and time lapse this for you guys so that you can just see it moving. The crazy, uh, there are some things to note about scrying using incense. That was amazing. One of the reasons that I do intuitive magic is so that I can allow my higher self to guide me and I can allow the magic in the universe to guide me. Um, things tend to work out better that way and often they work out in a way that I could not have come up with on my own. Um, something that I think I need might not actually be what I need, especially when it comes to elemental magic and um, divination and things like that. Um, your intuition is really, it's important to have a strong connection to your intuition and to be able to trust it um, because your intuition really is the depths of who you are, um, your infinite self, your soul, and all of your combined experiences as a living being before, after, and now, uh, not just in your human body so your intuition has access to any information that it needs to get whether you knew it previously or not that's just my interpretation of um, a lot of it's still going over there <laughs> sorry a lot of divinatory practices that is um, my practice intuitive di divination and intuitive spell work um, if you guys want me to make a video about more I mean more in depth about intuitive spell work and intuitive divination let me know I mention it in a lot of my videos but I've never really like talked about like my philosophy about it some things to note about divining using smoke it doesn't matter what kind of incense you use but again if um, there is a certain type of incense or even smoke um, a candle or a fire or a smudge stick something in particular that is calling to you and that you feel is, is is the right tool for the job, use that. It could just come down to the scent or it could just come down to what you have available. Um, what matters is that you stay safe and <laughs> practice fire safety, please, always. <laughs> Another thing to note about divination, uh, really of any kind, but in the context of um, divination with smoke is that the diviner, two people are not going to see the same thing in the smoke. So if um, you come to me with a problem, for example, um, and we need to do a reading and um, I decide divination with smoke is the way to go, if you were looking into the smoke, you would see something different than what I am seeing. Likewise, if um, you decided, I don't know why you would do this, but I'm trying to make a point. If you decided to divine using smoke and you filmed it and then you sent it to me and then you asked me what I saw in the smoke because you wanted to try and get some sort of confirmation or something, um, that is not something that I would be comfortable doing because it's not, it's not my spell, but also because I won't see the same thing that you see. So try to t trust your intuition, and if you don't feel good about um, divination, you don't feel good about scrying or doing readings for yourself, that's fine. You don't have to do them, but if you're going to do them, you need to be able to trust yourself. If you need a second opinion, there's a puppy out there. If you need a second opinion, I highly recommend just doing some research into symbols and things. Um, if there's a shape 
that you continuously see and you don't know how it applies to your question or your situation, um, do some research, uh, look into that shape and find out why it's important, what it means, what it means to you, and go with the definition that resonates with you. Uh, again, intuition is a big, big thing when it comes to magic. Don't do anything that doesn't feel good to you or feel right. Do what you're drawn to do. Um, do, do what feels, feels correct to you. Like me just now with the smoke divination. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that clip. I'm not sure why I was drawn to do it. Um, and like I said, I, I saw some definite shapes in the smoke and um, they were very meaningful to me. I don't know if I'm gonna post this or not. Um, I don't usually do rituals or ritual spell work on camera. Um, I will do, I will demonstrate spells, which is different to me. I feel like spell work, ritual spell work, um, divination and such are really sacred and so I always try to make sure that um, I don't have any negative feelings about it before I film it. If it feels like something that I would get backlash for filming. If it feels like it's not a good idea to film it, I won't film it. So I filmed this because I was having an experience and I wanted to take you guys with me and um, I've also gotten requests to film divination uh, scrying techniques before. I have a video that's talking about scrying. I'll put it somewhere so you can watch it. If you want to know more about the different types of scrying, I'm trying to do more demonstrative um, and not just purely informational videos. But that being said, the smoke that you guys saw on the screen, whatever you saw, if you saw anything in it or not, if you watched that part, um, I can almost guarantee it will be something different than what I saw. And someone else we'll see something different and someone else will see something different. So actually, let's play a game, why don't we? Why don't you tell me what you saw in the smoke? Put it in the comments down below. Do it for me because I'm curious and do it for the YouTube algorithm because YouTube. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Let me know if you liked this video, if it was helpful to see the demonstration or not. It's a little different for me, but I am trying to do more of this type of content. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, consider subscribing, hit the little bell icon. And if you want your requests to go to the top of the pile, um, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for hanging out with me today, witches. It's been fun. I love you and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day.